If quantum computing gets involved in AI, what are we looking at? Quantum computers is a hardware question where it actually increases your ability to do much more than with an ordinary digital computer. Step into a world where quantum computing and artificial intelligence emerge as pioneers in a technological revolution. Quantum computers, breaking barriers in processing speed, collide with the adaptive learning power of artificial intelligence, transforming our reality. This is a quantum computer, right? We, we barely know how it works. It's basically magic. The reality we're in will cease to exist. In this video, discover the thrilling sparks that fly when these technological titans meet. An extraordinary alliance between software and hardware promising a future beyond the imagination. Brace yourself for the captivating story of how chatbots and quantum computers revolutionize both software and hardware, unveiling an immensely powerful collaboration that holds the key to the next era of technological wonders. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Quantum Bits. In the 1980s, Richard Feynman, a theoretical physicist, faced a challenge while delving into the intricate realm of quantum physics comprised of delicate microscopic particles. Attempting to simulate these particles using conventional computers proved taxing as their capabilities strained under the increasing complexity. Feynman conceived a groundbreaking idea. What if he fashioned a tool using the very particles he sought to simulate, essentially creating a quantum computer? Recognizing the inherently quantum nature of the world, Feynman understood that classical computers struggled when dealing with numerous quantum systems due to their impractical simulation. Thus, he pioneered the concept of a quantum computer, noting its distinction from a Turing machine. To comprehend the functioning of a quantum computer, it is crucial to grasp the essence of quantum. Unlike classical computers that rely on binary bits, either zero or one, quantum computers employ quantum bits or qubits. These qubits possess the unique ability to exist in multiple states simultaneously, unlike classical bits restricted to a single state. Visualizing qubits as arrows in a three-dimensional space, an upward arrow represents a zero state, and a downward arrow represents a one state, analogous to classical bits. However, the exceptional feature of quantum computers lies in qubits' capacity to exist in a superposition state, pointing in any direction other than purely upward or downward. This state represents a combination of both zero and one states, with the resulting outcome determined by the probability associated with the arrow's direction. By harnessing these diverse quantum states, quantum computers can perform calculations in parallel, achieving unprecedented speed and power. This capability allows them to tackle computations that would be impossible within a single universe. Entanglement. In contrast to the autonomous functioning of classical bits, qubits within a quantum computer possess the ability to become entangled, resulting in the creation of a unified quantum state. To illustrate, consider two initially entangled qubits existing in different superposition states. Upon becoming entangled, the independent probabilities associated with each qubit are overridden, and a comprehensive probability distribution is computed for all potential states 0, 0, 0, 1, 10, or 11. This entanglement implies that any modification to one qubit has a consequential impact on the probability distribution of the entire system, integrating qubits into a larger interconnected state. This interconnectedness sets the stage for a future where interaction with expert systems involves engaging in discussions, exchanging insights, and essentially having a knowledgeable companion during medical procedures or spacecraft design someone possessing expert knowledge. Interference. To extract meaningful information from a quantum computer, it is necessary to perform measurements on the qubits. However, this action causes the system to collapse, resembling a typical computer system posing a challenge. To address this issue, a technique known as interference comes into play. Analogous to the cancellation of waves in a swimming pool when they collide, interference is employed to manage the collapse phenomenon. 
conceptualizing the qubit as a quantum wave function instead of an arrow in three-dimensional space, the combined wave functions of entangled qubits form an overarching wave function depicting the quantum computer's state. This amalgamation of waves results in interference, either constructively amplifying to create a larger wave or cancelling each other out. Through skillful utilization of interference, scientists can enhance the likelihood of obtaining the correct outcome from a quantum computer. Quantum computers stand out as the ultimate computing devices because they operate at the atomic level. If extraterrestrial beings exist, and many believe they do, it implies that they too have mastered quantum computers, enabling calculations far surpassing our current capabilities. Quantum algorithms, however, a crucial dilemma emerges at this juncture. Once quantum calculations are concluded, how can one ascertain their accuracy? How can the assurance be gained that the derived solution aligns with the real-world scenario? Let's dissect this challenge. Formulating instructions for a quantum computer, also termed quantum algorithms, proves to be a delicate endeavor. The primary complication arises from the need to steer the computation toward the correct answer without prior knowledge of what that answer might be. Consider the scenario where a quantum computer is employed to unravel the intricate dynamics of a black hole. In this case, a theoretical model of the black hole is created within the quantum computer and calculations are then executed on this model. However, the crux of the issue lies in validating the outcomes obtained through these calculations. In reality, there is no feasible way to drop a camera or a probe into a black hole to verify the accuracy of the quantum computer's model. Anything that ventures too close to a black hole is inevitably drawn in, lost forever. Shaw algorithms, this region is known as the event horizon. So we receive outcomes from a quantum computer's interpretation of a black hole, but verifying these results in the real world is challenging. It's akin to solving a puzzle without having the picture on the box to guide you. However, there have been significant advancements in creating effective quantum computer strategies since 1994. Mathematician Peter Shaw, for instance, developed a quantum strategy known as Shaw's algorithm capable of factoring large numbers much faster than traditional computer methods. For a regular computer, it would take longer than the age of the universe 300-digit number. A quantum computer could potentially break established digital codes. Now, you might be wondering why you should be concerned about a computer strategy that performs calculations much faster. The primary worry in your daily life is the RSA encryption system. Picture yourself buying a hoodie online. You've chosen it, placed it in your virtual cart, and are ready to check out, but you need to provide your credit card details. This is sensitive information, and you wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. This is where RSA encryption comes in. The information you send is scrambled using a highly complex math formula called the public key. The result is a mix of numbers and letters that are incomprehensible to anyone intercepting the data. Only the online store can decrypt it using a different but related formula known as the private key. Quantum supremacy. The hard part of this system is figuring out the private key from the public key, which is tough unless you solve a tricky math problem like breaking a big number into two smaller prime numbers. Regular computers would take an insanely long time to do this, even longer than the age of the universe. The public key, in theory, can be broken because we have ways to break down numbers into prime factors. But for big numbers, even powerful computers take a really long time. Now, with Shaw's algorithm and quantum computing, they can easily solve this math problem, basically breaking RSA encryption instantly. This means someone with bad intentions could access your credit card info. That's why it's a big deal. And scientists are working on new encryption that even quantum computers can't break. In 2019, Google's quantum computer, Sycamore, achieved quantum supremacy performing tasks much faster than regular computers. It would take the world's fastest supercomputer years, thousands of years, to do that same calculation. And in the field, this is known as quantum supremacy, and it's a really important milestone. While speed matters, the real race to quantum advantage is not just about that. Sycamore didn't use Shaw's algorithm yet because it needs more qubits and strong error correction. When quantum computers use Shaw's algorithm, it could threaten modern cryptographic systems and possibly change how we understand the universe. 
picture using a quantum computer armed with Shaw's algorithm to model a black hole's dynamics. It could help create advanced models. But here's the challenge. How do we know if the answers are right? One way is comparing quantum computer results with what our current scientific theories predict, like general relativity and quantum field theory, which have accurately described the universe over many years. Method of verification. Verification in quantum computing operates through two main methods. Firstly, consistency checks involve inputting problems with known solutions from general relativity into the quantum computer. If the computer produces the same answers, it boosts confidence in the accuracy of its computations. Secondly, quantum results can be applied to scenarios where existing theories conflict, such as the central region of a black hole where quantum field theory and general relativity struggle. If quantum insights align with observable phenomena and adhere to established laws, it adds credibility to the results. An example involves an experimental physicist using Google's quantum computer to study a wormhole, observing a clear peak over time. Empirical observations, like those from LIGO and Virgo projects, detecting black hole mergers, provide further checks. These techniques allow cross-verification of quantum computer outputs against established theories and observable events akin to building a LEGO model based on a box picture. Quantum computers offer new capabilities, enabling us to uncover the universe's secrets or potentially breach digital defenses. Yet, it's crucial to recognize that this opens the door to limitless possibilities beyond our current understanding.